Good morning, Mr. Kay. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm here to support uh, Mr. Rosendahl's effort to bring transparency, honesty, and a good deal on this NFL stadium to the city, something that so far hasn't transpired. But that'll come up later when he tries a second try at, at achieving that. Um, but Joel Kotkin has written a piece that will shortly be coming out in the City Journal under the headline, Los Angeles Going to Hell that I think traces the, what went wrong over the last 30 years of how we have fewer jobs in the city today than 30 years ago, how poverty and, uh, has increased so dramatically. And he traces it to incredibly poor leadership, not just in the political arena, but in the civic and business community as well. Uh, I think he's absolutely right, and I think it's at, at a level of intelligence and information that you should all read um, and take seriously. And my own thinking is this NFL deal is a chance to pivot and turn this city around. With all the money that's on the table in this deal, the city should be profiting from it. It shouldn't be just paying off debts. We've probably spent a billion dollars covering the losses of the pink, the white elephant convention center. This is a chance to begin to recoup those losses to, for police, for fire, for libraries, to put the public interest ahead of all these special interests that we see having controlled so much of what's gone wrong because we sold this city for what amounts to not even a penny on the dollar in political contributions, free tickets to NFL games won't solve anything. The NFL has deserted the city twice. They want to use our name. What's that worth to the NFL? That we should borrow money and let EG and a Denver billionaire and the NFL keep all the profits? You can do better than that. Thank you. Ron Kay is our next speaker. Sharon Cummings will be after that. Tough act to follow, but Mr. Kay, I know you're up to the job. John's always a tough act to follow. Uh, contrary to what uh, has been mentioned about eyes wide open, this is a deal that's being made eyes wide shut. Uh, you approve taking a million bucks from uh, AEG f without even understanding who or why or what was being done, as Mr. Alarcon pointed out. Um, there was no facts, there was no research, no discernment uh, of why one firm over another firm. Uh, you're plunging ahead, you don't even have any information. You don't know, you haven't accounted for how much the convention center is lost and all the broken promises on how it was going to generate all these hotels and tourism and jobs and business that were never delivered, only debts to the city. You're going from 45 to 70 million a year taken out of the general fund. All of it's on promises that some incredible boom is going to happen. Where's the examination, the study, where's the proof of that? And most of all, the biggest single missing piece is how can you write an MOU with AEG without discerning and determining exactly who's going to run the convention center that we're going to be indebted for. That's the key piece in this thing. The promise is the convention center will bring in billions of dollars and millions of tourists. Well, where is that and who's going to run it? You've made it clear that you want to um, privatize it. Who but AEG could possibly run it when they've got the event center, the stadium, have the control over the facility. Where's the determination, the details of how that's going to be run? This is a premature deal, and you're knuckling under demands and ultimatums from the most powerful company that has given the most money to politicians for purely political purposes of anybody in this town. They match perfectly well with the IBEW. This is a bad deal that is uncritically examined, and it is going to... to cost the public dearly um, without proper process.